so cool and crazy and wild and upside down. I'm bored and that's not fun. I want to get away, but I'm too tired to run. I'm going to find a place where there are no rules and the world is wild. I have the tools to make things happen and the reaction will explode. Class, is everybody ready for the wayside spelling test? Yes, Mrs. Jaws. How do you spell? <coughs> Moo. M O O. Class, how do you spell? <coughs> Meow. M E O W. Class, how do you spell? <coughs> Cling clong, no, that's not it. Cling clong bang, hmm. Ah. Ah. Todd, no making loud noises during a test. Sorry, Mrs. Jules. There! Now you can finish your test without further disruption. Mrs. Jules, that was my test. See how everything always works out? Ah! Nothing works right in this school. The desks, the pens, the pencil sharpener. When I'm principal, I'm going to fix things around here. Hold on, Todd. You didn't enter Kids Water's Principal for a Day contest, did you? Yeah, of course I did. What? No one enters that. Oh, no, don't do it. Don't do it, yikes. It's... Oh, crap. Todd, I see myself as a leader cut from the kids' water mold. But not even I entered that contest. Attention, students, attention. I'd just like to thank all the many qualified candidates who applied for this year's Principal for a Day contest. But as you know, only one can be the lucky sucker. <laughs> I mean the lucky winner. And in a moment, our wayside supercomputer will have completed its calculations. And the winner is... Toad. Todd. Congratulations, Todd the Toad. You are now principal. Um, just for the day. Good night. Oh, come on. It can't be that bad, can it? Perfect. I have some important meetings <laughs> today, so I've made a list ah! of simple tasks Wham! for the guest principal to complete. Damn it! Is that it? Because there's a few things I'd like to take care of myself today. Just make sure you complete my list first. <laughs> Look at all that paper. Toodaloo! <sighs> okay. Uh, I can do this. I will do this. And I'll do it better than any principal has done before. Oh, Principal Todd, I got in trouble for passing this love note. And Mrs. Jewel sent me to your office. My office? 
Mauricia, I don't have an office. But I broke a rule. And I'm not really the principal. You can give me detention. And I have this whole list. Detention by candlelight. And I'm trying to fix this broken school and... What about my broken heart, Todd? Can you fix that? Like I said, I'm not really the principal. I mean, uh, I'm not the heart-fixing, uh... See you later, Mauricia! Hi, Miss Mush. Oh, you come here! I'm the guest principal today. I call foul! No fair! Hey, Principal Todd! You here for breakfast? Actually, I'm here to improve on the lunch menu. Hey! Oh! Improve on lunch menu? Ah, no worry. Already taken care of. See? I make delicious sweat socks, too. Made fresh from real sweat. <laughs> well, since lunch isn't ready, why don't you try feeding the kids this instead? Huh? Strange roundy-like thing? You call it what? It's a pizza pie. Kids love them. Hmm, it tastes like cardboard. It's missing something. Maybe some sauce and cheese and some pepperoni. That's the spirit. Time to whip this school into shape. Hmm, and mud with giant doorknob on it. Water's list. Whoa. 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 Ah, finally, the last one on the list. Vacuum the schoolyard. Oh, principal for the day, dude. You're almost done the entire list. Yep, working on the last one. As a matter of fact, I've even improved on a few things. Observe. <whistles> yeah, nice touch with the cows. You know what? It's not that hard running this school. I don't know what the big deal is with kids swatter. Well, Todd, you have done more in one day than Kidswater does all year. But still, there is a reason he runs this place. Although sometimes it's hard to remember what that reason is. Reminds me of the time I... <laughs> Gotta get that pink paper back in there! Ah! <sighs> Hi, Principal Todd. 
I got sent to your office again for passing a love note, which may or may not be about you. Just what I need. Give me that love note. Ooh, which one? All of them. Oh, Todd, I'm so excited you're finally reading the most secret things I've ever written about you. <clears throat> it's time you knew how I feel, Todd. Let love rain down on us. Uh, this isn't working. You're telling me this relationship really isn't working. <laughs> Mr. Kitswater, help! Hmm, something seems different here. I'm holding up the building. No, that's not it. Excuse me, Toad. There! That's better. Took me a while to figure that one out. My list! You actually completed it! But... but... you just saved the entire school! I guess some things just aren't on a list when it comes to being a principal. Don't take it too hard, Toad. Most amphibians couldn't have done half that list. You should be proud. You deserve some kind of reward. Really? Like what? Aha! New list. One, have this Toad win every principal for a day contest. Two, change principal for a day contest to principal for a year contest. Number three. Work on backhand serve. What are you waiting for, Todd? Open up your report card. I, I can't. It's got to be bad. Why would you ever think that? Mrs. Jules always sends me home early on the kindergarten bus. I've never spent a whole day in class. Who knows what kind of grades she's given me? Todd, what are you talking about? This isn't student report card day, it's teacher report card day. Today is the day we grade our teachers! What? We gotta fill out Mrs. Jules' report card? Yes, that's how we let our teacher know if she's achieving at our grade level or not. It's for her benefit, and ours too. Hmm, grading Mrs. Jules, huh? Maybe it really can be for my benefit. Hello, class. Are you ready to hand in my report cards? Yes, Mrs. Jules. Straight A's. Oh, thank you, Dana. <laughs> uh -huh. You're the best teacher ever. Why, <laughs> you're the best Myron ever. Myron. You like make me smart like. Oh, yes, I do like Mauricia. Indubitably. I like your hair. I like your ears, Stephen. <laughs> I always sleep best in your class. Oh, I'm flattered, Cherie. Hmm, John, what are all these funny looking bees? Oh, they're upside down A's. Thanks. A plus, A plus, A plus. Ah! C classroom skills need improvement? See me after class! Todd, what have you done? Nothing. I just asked her to see me after class. <gasps> Todd? Yes? Mrs. Jules, are you okay? Do you know? What this means? You're going to see me after class. Yes. At the end of the day. Yes. And so, for the first time ever, you can't send me home early on the kindergarten bus. Yes! Awesome! 
I made it to the end of the day for the first time ever. Your father's waiting for you downstairs, Mrs. Jules. And what a delightful man. Taught me this bendy trick with my arm. But I don't think I'm doing it right. Ow! Okay, Todd. Papa's waiting. Let's go. Oh, Mrs. Jules, I, I don't have to see you after class. I just said that so I could stay in school until 3. Nice try, 344. But any time a teacher gets a report card like this, they need a parent-teacher conference. Or rather, a teacher's parent conference. I have to meet Mrs. Jules' parent? Yes. And when you do meet Papa Jules, ask him how I can get my hand to stop doing that. Ow! Wait! Did you do what we said, Mrs. Jules? Yes, I told my Papa I'd been doing my best work and the students just picking on me for no reason. Great! That always works for my brothers when they get in trouble. Yeah, you just have to prepare your parents before they speak to a teacher. Or in this case, your student. Good luck. But Mr. Kidswater... Watch it. He's from the circus. Todd, this is out of our hands. You heard Principal Kidswater. No, really, Mrs. Jules. You're a great teacher. I, I don't have to meet your dad. I just don't want to get sent home early every day. Let's be rational here. There's no point... Ali Ali Oxen Free! <laughs> There's my precious carrot. So, you're the one picking on my daughter. I wasn't picking on her. Well, that's what she said. You call her my little potato skin a fibber? No, no, no. I, I'd never say that about your potato skin. I mean your daughter. I, I mean Mrs. Jules. I just thought of... Uh, Come on. Out with it, pelican pants. I thought if she didn't send me home on the kindergarten bus, she'd be a better teacher. Better teacher? Listen, clam socks. My girl's been perfect ever since she somersaulted into this world. Cartwheeled through childhood and cannonballed out of teacher school. Cannonballed! But now, because of your insensitive editorializing on her report card, I'm gonna pull her out of Wayside and send her to teach in a private school. What? What? Papa, you can't do this! Sorry, little pumpkin eyes, but I want you to give the best education you can give. No! Don't take her away. I can change her grade. Oh, you'll have to do more than that, turtle teeth. You've got to help me. Papa Jules is going to make Mrs. Jules teach in some fancy private school. He thinks I'm picking on her or something. Uh-oh. Um, well, Todd, I don't know where she got that idea. Oh, how about this? Just stop picking on her. What? But I don't pick on her. She picks on me. Aha! Uh -huh. Then the problem is you, Todd. Yeah, Todd. You need to be a better student. Huh? Sure. That way Mrs. Jules can be a better teacher. And you can give her a better grade. Wait a minute. Let me get this straight. I work harder, but she gets the better grade? What a brilliant idea, Todd. Uh... Let's help you get started. <laughs> See? Leg goes here, and toes go here. Okay, here we are. Hmm, nice trick. But I still don't know why people claim I always put my foot in my mouth. This is the first time I've ever done it. And let me tell you, it does not taste familiar. I'll be right back, Papa. I just want to say goodbye to my class. Take your time, my little fuzzy turnip. I still gotta teach Foot Swatter here how to scratch his own back with his kneecaps. Morning, Mrs. Jules. Here's an apple. 
and some flowers, and all my completed homework for the next six years. Why, thank you, Todd. But what's wrong with your arm? Oh, we've just attached a minor arm brace to ensure that it's always raised, whether you've asked a question or not. Just trying to be a better student, so uh, you can be a better teacher. How thoughtful of you, Todd. But you can put your hand down now. Um, actually, I, I can't. Let me help. Yeah. <laughs> well, Todd, if you can't follow directions, I'll just have to put your name on the discipline list. Already taken care of. Goodness, Todd, did you write that? Yes, but I had some help from my friends. Dana, a check, perhaps. Oh, yeah, this thing. Oh, I just cannot wait to ride home on the kindergarten bus. My, what an improved attitude. That teacher's parent conference really helped. Now, if only everyone in the class was like you, Todd. Yay! <laughs> kids really know how to teach your teacher. Does that mean you'll let her stay here with us? Absolutely yes. I can see the lot of you will make up for any bad studenting by old chicken slacks over there. I've fixed Mrs. Jewell's grade based on my recent improvements. Of course you have, squirrel socks. <sighs> Papa Jewels, I really didn't mean to cause any problems. I just wanted Mrs. Jules to learn what it felt like riding on the kindergarten bus every day. Oh, so this is all about my little prune pit's learning, is it? Um, yeah. I guess I was trying to teach her something. Well, education's important to us, so, um, what you want to teach her, Turkeywig? <laughs> you actually agreed that I have to ride home on the kindergarten bus every day for the rest of the month? Of course I did, my little butternut. That's the student's recommendation. Said you'd learn heaps from it. Wanted you to know how it feels to be here. You know, I think I see what Todd is trying to teach me. This kindergarten bus is a blast! He just wanted me to know how much fun it is. Now I'll definitely send him home on it every day!